Now, for the second push, if you use the data layer variable to check for the email value, it will return email protected for both version 1 and version 2 of the data layer variable. Because the data layer variable does not care about the composition of this push instead, it cares about the keys and values contained in this push. At this point, the only way to access the deleted value is to use the data layer variable. Because deleting an item from the data layer set does not remove it from the GTM data model. You can also query the value of a particular property, which means that the variable will return the value of that property if it is found on the pushed object. You can access the keys and values that were in the pushed object in the data layer itself. Note if you remove an object from the data layer set, you can no longer retrieve it using this variable template. And I created a data layer picker variable template for this purpose. In version 2, which is the default, you can use dot notation to access any key you press at any time in the data layer. If you are familiar with the data layer variable, you know that it has two versions. You can make it get a full object, which means that the variable returns an object containing the key of the event that caused the variable to be evaluated. In this case, it may be easier to access the array directly rather than through the GTM data model. The template also works with objects entered into the data layer from other custom templates.